Tropical Storm Lee, it promises to be a miserable Labor Day weekend along the Gulf Coast. Tropical Storm Lee could dump as much as 20 inches in some area areas. Both Louisiana and Mississippi have declared states of emergency. Correspondent Bagad Shaban is in New Orleans with the very latest. Bagad, good morning. Good morning, Russ, and really we're just off the shores of the Mississippi River here in New Orleans. We've already felt wind gusts of up to 40 miles per hour, and the heavy rain has really been coming down since last night. This are just Lee's outer bands, but already this morning, the city of New Orleans is saying that in certain parts of the community, we're seeing flooding. As a slow-moving Lee moved in on New Orleans, massive pumps worked to shoot its rainwater out. Some of the city's floodgates have also been shut to prevent a surge of water from rushing back in. Since Hurricane Katrina flooded 80% of the city six years ago, $10 billion worth of flood protection improvements have been made. Lee would be the first storm to test some of the latest fixes to the 120 mile long levee system. Everybody's afraid because nobody knows exactly what's going to happen and when. All along coastal Louisiana, residents hoping to stock up on supplies are now packing checkout counters and sandbags, hoping to avoid a flood. You can never take a chance, man, you know? Yeah, anything can happen. Parts of the Gulf Coast saw about two and a half inches of rain on Friday, but by the end of the weekend, as much as 20 inches could fall in some areas between Louisiana and the Florida Panhandle, resulting in tropical storm warnings from Mississippi to Texas. And along the bayous of South Louisiana, rising waters signified Lee's arrival. Waves now wash over docks, not under. It came up about, I guess, a foot, a foot and a half today. And it's coming up right now, it's still coming up. In the coastal community of Lafouche Parish, southern portions are now under a voluntary evacuation order, with tides expected to rise up to four feet above normal. And in New Orleans, the drainage system can only handle an inch of rainfall the first hour of a storm and then a half an inch after that. So really the longer and this really the slower Lee churns, the more flooding we could see. Russ? We got Shabana in a very rainy New Orleans this morning. Thanks a lot. We'll see you later in the broadcast.